Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another vegan and gluten-free recipe. Today I'm making this batch of cauliflower buffalo wings. I love buffalo wings, whether it's cauliflower version or meat version, it just screams college late night bites or football night or just like a fun casual potluck. They're just so good and I love the color that comes from the buffalo sauce itself. There's 10 lovely ingredients going into these buffalo cauliflower wings, so let's go through each of these ingredients one by one super quickly. First up, we have two heads of cauliflower. I rinsed off the cauliflower, chopped it into little pieces, and put them into this bowl. There's also two thirds of a cup of gluten-free flour, one quarter cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup of water, some buffalo sauce to coat the cauliflower wings, and finally, some of this vegan ranch to dunk the cauliflower wings into at the very end. Now let's go through the nine steps of this recipe, which I've linked down in the description box in case you'd like to follow along with me and make some of these cauliflower buffalo wings yourself. This recipe comes courtesy of Love and Lemons. It's right up there with Minimalist Baker. Definitely go and check out Love and Lemons for more incredible recipes. For step number one, I'll whisk together the dry ingredients in a large mixing bowl. Those dry ingredients include the gluten-free flour, the cornstarch, the salt, the garlic powder, the onion powder, and the paprika. Once those ingredients are well combined, I'll move on to step number two, which is to take the three quarters of a cup of water, pour it into the bowl with the dry ingredients, and stir everything together until it forms a nice batter. Then for step number three, I'll take the cauliflower florets, toss them into the bowl with the batter, and stir them around so that they get nice and evenly coated in the batter. For step number four, I'll use a fork to lift the cauliflower piece out of the batter and place those onto a couple of lined baking sheets which I have all ready to go on my stovetop. For step number five, I'll take those two baking sheets with the cauliflower florets, place them into my oven, and bake the cauliflower at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. And about halfway through the baking time, I'll make sure to flip over the cauliflower florets on the baking sheet so that they get a nice even bake on both sides. For step number six, I'll remove the baking sheets from the oven and coat the cauliflower florets in the buffalo sauce. Then for step number seven, I'll place the baking sheets back into the oven and bake the cauliflower for another 15 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. For step number eight, I'll remove the baking sheets from the oven for good, no more baking, but I will coat the cauliflower in another layer of buffalo sauce and let them cool for about 15 minutes. And then finally for step number nine, which is of course the most fun step, I'll dish up the buffalo cauliflower right here at my countertop. I'll dump them in some of this vegan ranch, dig in, and let you know what I think. Now that we've gone through the ingredients and recipe steps for these cauliflower wings, let's get started. So I'm going to begin mixing together the dry ingredients to form the batter, which I'll dunk these cauliflower pieces into. Can I just start by saying how stunning the color is on these cauliflower wings? I have to get you a close up. It took about 10 minutes 
per coating of these cauliflower wings in the buffalo sauce and honestly it was so worth doing it twice and now finally after all that work it's time to try these out so i'm actually just gonna scooch these over here and pour out a bit of this vegan ranch sauce probably not too much and how about i give you a close-up of this individual piece with a bit of the ranch sauce on it i'm really happy with how these turned out it just makes me so satisfied so proud when you make a vegan version of the real thing and it actually turns out looking really good. Mm. I really think if I was like fasting for a whole day and was super hungry, I could wipe out all of these cauliflower in one sitting. And to give you a sense of how much this recipe makes, I have an entire baking sheet, second baking sheet over on my stovetop. I wasn't able to fit the cauliflower on this plate unless I wanted to just completely pile it up and it was spilling everywhere. So there's still tons of this cauliflower for me to eat. And that of course is a great thing. So let me know what you thought of this recipe if you decide to try it out for yourself at home, leave me a comment down below, good or bad. I wanna know what you thought of this recipe and how these cauliflower wings turned out. Before I sign off, I have a couple of recipes in mind for you to check out. I've linked them at the end of this video. The first one uses cauliflower just like this recipe. It's roasted cauliflower tacos. I love that one because it has this spicy red sauce. It's a little reminiscent of the spicy buffalo sauce and it adds a nice kick to the tacos. The second recipe I've linked doesn't contain cauliflower, but it is spicy. It's Kung Pao tofu and the heat in that recipe comes from the red chili peppers. So if you're interested in making another spicy dish like this one, definitely go and check out one or both of those videos. That's it for today's episode. So take care my lovely foodies, eat well, and I will see you in the next episode on this channel. Bye!